I think home is what you think of as a womb. You can let go. You sink, you sleep. You regenerate. You share, you laugh. You create your most wonderful memories. I moved to Delhi in 95. I think I decided that Delhi was more my speed because being in fashion, it was in the center of the craft belt. I love the textures. It transports you. It's got somebody's soul in it. I've always associated beautiful homes with a lot of art. Whatever it is you need to present it. The story of how we originally ended up in this house. My father's best friend, my godfather, got the land in 1997. And my godmother told him that she doesn't feel comfortable living in such a secluded area. It's such a therapy. In a city as crazy as Delhi, with the traffic, the pollution, the chaos, the heat, that's to escape into like this oasis. To have a piece of land that you could fashion the way you want and design from scratch. I hate to say that it was colonial inspired, but they had a certain flow to it. The Brits really understood Indian climate, so these houses were built with high ceilings, they had courtyards, they were cooler, they built cleverly. I mean, there was no air conditioning back then. But of course now, because you have so much more glass, I wanted to feel the gardens inside. There's only one tree at the porch, a sole acacia that was on this property. So I said, you've got to build around it. I love the idea of gardens being like many rooms. I don't like seasonal planting. Have all these Indian trees, let them go into flower when they will. Things flower when they're meant to. As I got into fashion, I went to parts of India that I'd never have dreamt that I'd go to. My whole idea of beauty and my eye changed. I began to understand why as Indians we did things in a certain way. So my eye began to change both for pattern, for color, for texture. There's such a beautiful variety of things, old and new, that are done in India. One of my purposes, because I feel we were brought up so disconnected from what the essence of this country really had to offer, is to keep trying to push the boundary of how to make India modern and contemporary. I work with craft. I wanted the house to reflect craft. have been wallpapered in just stone sheets of silk paper done by a local Indian artist. Everything has a story. Everything's been picked by me.
it's his own kind of testing ground and his own synthesis of space his own experiences of what he's seen and where he's been and you know things that he's touched and feel and that he's loved it just is something that we evolved into it's not like there was a plan it's not like we had mood boards is a visceral process and it's inevitable the t-shirt will influence the cushion the cushion will come in and influence the next thing my favorite room where i hang out is my home office my man cave it's a lovely space to just be able to move from one thing to another reminding that life worth living that it can be snatched in a moment so live it fully his passion for design and his inner need to create is something that consumes him always tell people my children follow your passions don't have an agenda just do it